Athens, Greece, birthplace of democracy and home to the first ever Olympic Games. This city is still to this day dominated by 5th century BC landmarks, like the colonnaded Parthenon Temple on top of the Acropolis. Walk the ancient streets and enjoy the bustling nightlife Athens has to offer. In this video, I'll give you guys my top 10 things to do, see and eat. Number one on the list is to visit the Acropolis of Athens. The Acropolis of Athens is an ancient citadel located on a rocky outcrop above the city of Athens and contains the remains of several ancient buildings of great architectural and historical significance, the most famous being the Parthenon. So impressive just to stare at. I can't stop looking at it. Just can't help but wonder like what it looked like when it was uh, all intact. I'm going to have to play Assassin's Creed Odyssey again, just so I can see what it looked like when it was in its heyday. To visit the Acropolis, you have to purchase a ticket. Choose between a combo ticket, skip the line entry, or a guided tour. While you can purchase your tickets on-site, if you don't wish to waste your time standing in long queues, it's best to purchase your tickets online. <laughs> Second on the list is to visit the Acropolis Museum. The Acropolis Museum is an archaeological museum focused on the findings of the archaeological site of the Acropolis of Athens. 560 BC. 560 BC. 575 BC. 2,500 years ago. Wow. That's such an impossible time to try and wrap your head around that people were painting this pottery 2,500 years ago. And here we are staring at it all these years later in a museum. <laughs> It's incredible. So this is the actual excavations. It's really cool. What it's is this? Baths. The baths? This, this is the actual ones. What, washing? Yeah, this is where they are. This, this is where they, where they have baths and stuff and spas. It's cool, isn't it? Next on the list is to walk the ancient streets of Plaka. In the shadow of the Acropolis and its ancient temples, Plaka has a village feel with narrow cobblestone streets lined with tiny shops selling jewellery, clothes and local ceramics. Sidewalk cafes and family-run tavernas stay open until late, so be sure to indulge in the many flavours of Plaka. Look at that. Mmm. Super tasty. That was only three euros. It's so cheap. Another area in Athens well worth exploring is the neighbourhood of Siri. Siri is a bustling place full of shops, cafes, restaurants and bars. This is an excellent location to spend an afternoon in Athens. They're literally just like mini donuts covered in chocolate. So good. Siri is also a great place to hang out late at night. It has an amazing evening atmosphere and if you're feeling peckish, the street food vendors serve food until quite late here as well. Pure mouth pleasure. Size it up. Wow, look at that. Four quid. What is it? A veggie burger? Yeah. A zucchini and courgette. Mmm. Mmm. As far as veggie burgers go, it's pretty damn good. If you want the best spot in Athens to watch a sunset, then head to Areopagus Hill, just opposite the entrance of the Acropolis. Get at the top. Oh wow, it's really nice stuff here, babe. Wow, look at that. This is really nice. The sun is about to set. 
set anyway. Hmm. At number six is to watch a show at the theatre of Herodus Atticus. This ancient Roman amphitheatre was built in 161 CE, making it one of the oldest amphitheatres in the world still used to this day. This is gonna be so cool. <laughs> I got a ticket. Uh, I don't know, 70 euros. Show prices will obviously vary depending on the act you're seeing but range from 20 to 50 euros per person. This is so exciting, isn't it? Random, random. Random but random exciting. Things. Good for it. <coughs> wow, look at that. This is epic. After the sun is set, head north of the Acropolis to Monastiraki Square. This is a flea market neighbourhood in the old town of Athens and is one of the principal shopping districts in Athens. The area is a major tourist attraction in Athens and Attica for bargain shopping. However, shopping isn't the reason for my recommendation. Monastiraki Square is home to the best rooftop bars overlooking the Acropolis in Athens. My favourite being 360 cocktail bar. Wow, look at that cocktail. Wow, that is so good. Wow. So amazing. What a hello. Why do you Wow, look at that! The espresso martini again. Next on the list at number eight is the fairy tale inspired street, Little Cook. This is amazing. Now it's a Wonderland themed street. Epic. How fucking cool. How weird and strange, but cool. Isn't it strange? A whole street dedicated to uh, Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> it's crazy, isn't it? It's cool, but crazy. The main inventor of the street really loves Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> Wow, it's so nice. Dine in one of the cafes in Little Cook and be served by your favourite characters from Alice in Wonderland. We came back in the morning to try the pancakes and they were honestly the best pancakes we'd ever eaten. <laughs> oh my god, wow. That's so good. Don't leave without trying the lemonade as well. It is honestly so good. Oh, that's lovely. Like, yeah. At number nine is the ancient Agora of Athens. Agora is an ancient Greek city served as meeting grounds for various activities for its citizens, such as trading and marketplaces. This Agora even has a museum housed in the Stoa of Atalos. The collection of the museum includes clay, bronze and glass objects, sculptures, coins and inscriptions from the 7th to the 5th century BC, as well as pottery of the Byzantine period and the Turkish occupation. It's cool isn't it? An ancient, this is an ancient Greek shopping centre pretty much. Like a hangout place where they would like trade and you could buy your fruit and veg and fish and meat and pretty cool and it's still standing today and we can walk around it and touch it. 
The main attraction at the ancient Agora is the Temple of Hephaestus. This is probably the most well-preserved temple in all of Athens. Oh yeah. So the black stains are the, it's fire damage. Wow, that's so cool. I didn't realise that. I didn't realise that it could stain the marble. I suppose that makes sense. And finally at number 10 is the home of the first ever modern Olympic Games, the Panathenaic Stadium. This isn't where the Olympics was invented. This is where uh, the very first International Olympics was held. But it wasn't where the ancient Olympics was held or was invented. This was actually a racetrack. Let's get out of here then. <laughs> yeah, this isn't the home of the Olympics. It's home of the International Olympics, uh, birthplace of the very first International Olympics, but it's not the birthplace of the ancient Olympics. That stadium is in Olympia and it's just a patch of dirt. It doesn't really look that great. Tickets to enter the only stadium in the world built entirely of marble can be purchased at the ticket office on arrival and only costs five euros per person. Look at this! Look how steep that is! Go on then babe, get out of there. This is going to be funny. Look how steep that is. Uh. <laughs> Right guys, well that is my top 10 things to do, see and eat in Athens. But before you go, here are some travel tips. The best time to visit the Acropolis ideally is the early hours of the day or an hour or so before closing. The Acropolis tends to get quite crowded between 11am to 2pm. The best time of year to visit the Acropolis is between October and April. Try to avoid the summer months as the heat is quite harsh and the Acropolis gets quite crowded. The next tip might be an obvious one, but wear good walking shoes, especially when walking around the Acropolis area. It's very rocky and slippery. We made the mistake of wearing flip-flops when going to the Areopagus Hill and massively regretted it. Yeah, I can get up there, my flip-flops. It's slippery, that's the problem. Yeah, I'm not sure it's guys. I picked the wrong shoes for this. Getting around in Athens, like most cities these days, Uber was the quickest, cheapest and most reliable. Athens has tons of these yellow taxis that also work for Uber. However, one night, both of our phones had died, so we jumped in a taxi and paid the meter rate, and it was at least 40% more expensive than our Uber rides. Well guys, that just about covers everything. If you have any questions, just follow me on Instagram and send me a message. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe for more top 10 videos, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Adiós. Thank you.